off what these dudes are doing. Some of them, passport bros, um, and and that's all of them. The white, the black, Hispanic. Uh, they're pitting, pitting the Western woman against the Filipino woman or the Colombian woman or the Venezuelan woman. That's what it looks like. You, they're pitting, trying to make girls do go into a girl girl fight. Basically, that that's what it. And men, real men, grown men, don't do that. That's what little boys do. Little boys in junior high, elementary, even you know in high school. But grown ass men, they don't do that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, the men I saw, the young men on the Daily Rap crew, and I saw another guy, another two older YouTubers, uh, and, and they, they all sing the same thing. Uh, black women, uh, women, uh, Filipino, Latina women, they were raised to be housewives. They were raised to be housewives. And the, the black woman, the black woman, the America woman, she raised to be independent. She raised to work. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I'm, I'm not going to speak so much on the other. I'm going to speak on this. Melanated, melanated, chocolate, chocolate woman, Nubian woman. First of all, y'all kind of late in a day short and a couple of dollars short. Remember that commercial was from way back? I think it, I think the, the perfume was the Anjali, the Anjali perfume. And the woman was saying how she was breakfast, go to work, wash the kids, wash. No, 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 no. If y'all want all that, like when y'all see the Kim Kardashian people, Y'all see the Beyonce people, y'all see the Cardi B, Taylor Swift, uh, Giselle Bunchen, uh, Selma Hayek and them. Those chicks, they have a fitness trainer, they have a chef, they got a personal assistant that makes their appointments and whatnot. They've got a driver, they got someone that washes the clothes, vacuums, blah, blah, blah. They've got anywhere from five maybe three to five to eight people working with them including um the nannies the the manager uh not to mention when you get into talking about their lawyer their accountant blah 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 uh, i was looking at someone's page i don't know if it was on someone's page or something i had read and if I can find it, I will post it. If I can, I don't know. But the woman was saying way back in the day, sharecroppers after slavery, during Reconstruction in the South, um, the black men had said they wanted the wives to stay home and they were going to go out and pick the cotton, do pick the rice, do the tobacco, blah, blah, blah. And it was the white sharecropper man, for, especially for all you divesters, he told the black man, the sharecropper, no, 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 Tyrone, no, 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 Travion, no, no, Tavares, no, 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 um, I don't know, Davier, you, you need to get Ebony, you need to get Kizzy out here and help you pick this cotton. We need Kizzy, Ebony, Laquisha, Laquita, Davinisha, she needs to be out here help you. Y'all need to get your woman out here helping y'all pick that tobacco because the more of y'all out here, the more money that you get at the end of the year because, you know, they'll make the people work the whole year. And then they will bring in their, their bushels, the bundles, and weigh it in to get paid. So that's when that started, you know. So now, you know, we got, you know, and then in a lot of the cases, the women was the one that was speaking up or talking or, or trying to talk or, or figure out the money or figure out the finances. So all of a sudden now, Big Daddy, Big Papa wants to 
said, hey, we don't need y'all big mouths. We don't need y'all big mouth, Big Shirley, Laquita, Kissy. We we got this. You need to you need to sit down and shut up. Well, it's kind of late now. Cause y'all didn't tell us to sit down and shut up when when we was marching, uh, when they was writing writing all these these letters to to go to to the State Department to Capitol Hill when when you need them to to write to help you get that loan at the bank when you need them to help you get that grant money all of a sudden you know you we we need to sit down and shut up and and since we're not behaving and doing what we're supposed to do. You just gonna go down there to Colombia, to Venezuela, to 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 the Dominican Republic, to to Mexico, to Costa Rica. You gonna go over there? <laughs> um, my sister was telling me a story, and it was kind of sad. Uh, her doctor, well, one of the doctors, black lady, husband is. I was a doctor he's still a doctor and they have four daughters and two of them are already doctors and she's got two more she's who's fixing gold to be doctors so make a long story short she said hey she, she was blindsided she was she was ghosted she was hit like with a two by four her husband just went to her one day and said hey i'm out of here i want a divorce not only am i gonna get a divorce uh, I'm going to sell my practice. He was some kind of heart doctor or vascular doctor, but he was way up there. And so she said he purposely sold everything close to shop because he didn't want the child support people to come at him. And he went go work for someone or at a clinic or something, making way less to get out of paying child support. And guess who he, he got with or he hooked up after he broke up with her. Uh, an Asian woman, uh, Asian, not all the way Asian, but she was Asian and half white. And fixed it where she didn't work. And she already had a child. So this thing that I'm seeing, don't y'all get no woman with kids. Don't you marry no woman with kids. Oh, out, uh, one of the guys, oh, out, mm a woman with kids or I'll oop a woman that wear a wig, but I won't marry them. I won't bring them home. Well, that's weird. Y'all won't do that when you with Kizzy, Izzy, Ebony, LaQuisha, but you show a wife up, somebody that don't look like you, your mama, your sister, your auntie, or the girl that lived next door or went to Sunday school with you, but you show a wife up, you know, somebody else and then tell them, hey, you don't have to work. I'll work two, three, four jobs. So you can just stay home. Uh, don't don't get me started, you guys. Because I work in a mall. And I can tell you, if I work six hours. I'll see about 20 or so mixed or interracial couples. And most of them are black guys with non-black women. And I might see two or three black women or black young women with a white or Hispanic guy. One thing I can say, even though I don't see many, but when I do see a black chick with a white dude or even with a Hispanic dude, they 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 look comparable. If if she's petite or thin, he's gonna be uh, petite or thin. If she's kind of thick, kind of like what you say, thicker than a snicker he's going to be built a muscular. Cause I did see a black chick the other day. Uh, I want to say a big girl, but she was thick, but she, she was shapely and she, yes, yeah, she had a weave, nice weave. Didn't bother the Hispanic guy. She was with, he was a big old muscular guy. Looked like he lived waist, decent looking guy, tall. They were comparable. So a uh, white guy with his wife. I, I don't know if she had a weave or what, but they were comparable. They had one little kid. He wasn't fat or slouchy. He wasn't ugly. He didn't look like Howdy Doody. He didn't look like Jeffrey Dahmer. He didn't look like Jeff Bezos. He just looked like a regular guy, decent looking. Saw another couple, Hispanic guy, Native American looking, long wavy hair with a, a young black lady. She was wearing her real hair. 
They had two little kids. I, I'm going to be messy. I don't think it was his kids. They didn't look mixed or biracial to me. Yeah, I went there. I'm from Louisiana. All my family, Creoles, some Cajuns, we have seen, we know, you know, you kind of know after you've seen what, uh, you know, base, what would they look like. Yeah, I know everybody who has a white or Mexican dad or Italian dad don't come out with what we would call good hair or wavy hair or Hawaiian silky hair. I have seen people who have white moms and their hair still come out like this, kinky, coily, very curly, you know. Everybody don't come out with straight wavy Hawaiian silky hair. They have a white mom or a white dad or Hispanic dad or whatever. But you you can see in the people's features. But when I see the few, or I should say a lot of the black guys, even one of the black guys has been really friendly with me, helping me at work to get things and, and get stuff done. He's really a sweetheart. His wife is a, is a kind of a big girl, thick Hispanic lady. And uh, my supervisor, she does not watch my videos. Thank goodness, you guys. She was showing me her son, her grandson came in. Uh, they have a beautiful baby. He's short, because I know I'm short. He's just a little bit taller than me, but he's kind of stocky. His woman he's with, big, old, tall, big, tall, husky, Hispanic woman. I'm thinking most, uh, I don't really see that many tall his latina women but he found one and she a big girl she a big charlie but y'all you know attacked a few little chocolate kissies that divest out but at least they do kind of look like a couple in a lot of cases and they look in tune versus i see you know I'm just saying, I just I just had to throw that one out. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I don't know. With modern men and modern women in the dating arena is that there are so many modern men that want traditional women without having to be traditional men. What am I talking about? Let me let him explain. Only and typically in an Arab household, the man usually is the provider financially, um, and that's just how it is. Um, that is just something I wasn't uh, prepared for. Most Arab women expect that. Just like most um, American people expect the woman to contribute half. Or not half, well, just, but just you're, contribute. You're, but you're not dealing with an American woman. No, but so. I, she'd have to deal with some of my things, though, too. This was definitely not what I wanted to hear. I thought Moroccan women prioritize family over material things, and I was not anticipating that. It would mean I have to be the sole provider for a household. I didn't sign up for this. So what do you mean you weren't prepared to be a sole provider? Like, who raised some of these men? They are so adamant that they want a traditional woman, but they also want that traditional woman to be modern enough to expect to have to pay bills. This man goes on to say that he, he wants an, an independent, financially independent woman who will have his kids and clean and be submissive and all these other things. Why would she do all of that? Like... You realize that the women in here in America won't even take that deal. So they get their passports and they try, they go, they globe trot all over the world trying to find a woman vulnerable enough, desperate enough, in search of citizenship enough to take that deal. This is predatory behavior. When you're looking for a woman who wants to have access to the benefits and the perks and the rights that we have as Americans because they don't have those rights in their country, but you're going to make her earn it. She's going to have to earn it by you making a mule out of her, expecting her to do more than you're doing. So why should she do all of that for your 50% of the bills? Like, the deal isn't being accepted by American women, and you're realizing that it's not going to be accepted by women in other countries either, because it's a bad deal and you know it. And oftentimes, these women in other countries, they're going to expect you to send money back home to their parents and their siblings and their families back home. Like, you think that you're saving money. You're trying to find a good woman for a discount by shopping all around. But she's, all, she's also going to expect you to provide for her as well. Once you expect a woman to have your child and, sh and her ability to work like your ability to work is changed, you're going to have to provide for that woman. All I can say, you find love. Lust where you find it. Just do like Will Smith say, 
keep my name out. Keep our name. Keep the melanated Nubian women name out. You, you. I, I don't never, ever, ever see or hear a Native American man, uh, a Jewish man, Italian man, Arab man, uh, say, well, the Arab woman. She has been the enemy to us more than the Jewish woman. I never see the Jewish man say, the Jewish woman has been more of an enemy than the Arab woman has ever been to us. I never see the Mexican man say, the Mexican woman, she's been more of an enemy to us ever than the white man or the Spaniards have to us. And I got this off of one of the Manosphere, uh, one of, I think it was Cynthia G had played that tape. And I kept thinking, who is that man's voice? Who is saying that? Can you imagine, especially right now during the, the Israel, uh, Hamas, um, not Israel, Hamas, the fighting that's going on, or even back in the day with the Nazis in Germany. Can you imagine a, a, a Jewish man saying, oh, the Nazi woman has been more of a friend to us than our own Jewish woman has ever had. Can you imagine some kind? This is what some of this stuff look like. And I'm going to call it what it is. It's demonic. It's demonic. It is evil. It's negative. It's rude. It's mean. It's malicious. And a lot of it is almost centered on um, racism to a point. Does it make it okay? Because uh one of my friends got mad at somebody that had said the n word they were all black and they had said the n word that doesn't make it right because I'm black and you black that you feel that you can get away by disrespecting me maligning me to the highest that don't make it right and the same thing with you know I have a Hispanic friend said that somebody had called her y'all know the word um start with w and she was almost in tears. And I was like, well, you need to go back and tell them or cuss them out or something that they don't get to call you that. But you don't, I don't know what makes us think that it's okay to do this to one another because it's not okay. Moving on, I, I had to I had to throw it. So basically, in a nutshell, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. If you want to go overseas to an ex-tourism, get your wife, get your girlfriend, get your new family, do it. We don't need to know about it. When these other men, they've been going on these tours to Cambodia, Thailand, whatever. You never heard anything about it. You never heard of them sitting up, talking about it, bragging about it, putting down uh, you know, their woman, their wife, their, their, the women in their culture. You never heard anything. They just did their thing and that was it. And they smoked their little pipe and, you know, I don't, I don't know why we need, we need to know. Just, just do your thing. Keep your little mouth shut. Bring your little woman home. Get, get her her KS visa, whatever. Don't be surprised. <laughs> Uh, that after she gets her education or whatever, that she leaves you or she hollows out and say, hey, I've been abused. He's touching my children. He's he's looking at my kids funny. Cause she, there's, I forgot what it's called. There's an umbrella of protection because so many of those women were abused from American servicemen and they, they got away with it. Now these women are, are getting an umbrella of protection for them and the kids. Uh, passport girls, passport chicks, passport um, uh, women. Y'all need to be careful out there with all this traveling by yourselves. You need to travel with someone, with a couple someone, and you should have some type of security or some type of, of um, I don't know, karate or, or um, I don't know, what's the other karate? But you need to have something. I would not be out there traveling to some of these places. Some of these distant places, I would not be out there. Uh, you can't even leave your house and go to Walmart or go to the mall or just take a little road trip to the beach nearby. And then you're traveling overseas and you don't speak the language? Are you kidding me? 
yeah, I went there. These who are Eurasian or, or who are Filipinos, one, congratulations, she just got married to a famous baseball player, Vanessa Hudgens. She's uh, Filipino and white. Um, Keanu Reeves, I don't think he's Filipino. I, I forgot, he's Chinese and white. Keanu Reeves, uh, I used to love me some Keanu Reeves back in the day. Yes, John Wick. Uh, the singer Her, she Filipino and black. Singer Sati or Sawati. Uh, the guy from, what was it, who played with Mario? No, no, no. Not Mario Lopez, but the blind guy. And then he was, and then did they take that show off, Mixish? The guy in Gosler, his mom Filipino, he looks white. Remember Phoebe Cates, you guys? Y'all remember Jennifer Tilly and her sister? Uh, Jennifer was in, um, Chucky, <laughs> the ride of Chucky. Uh, they're Filipino and white. Um, I want to say Joanna Gaines from the uh, Fixer Upper. She's not Filipino. I believe she's Japanese and white. She did just recently write a book about growing up in Texas and also about being uh, picked on or bullied or discriminated. Uh, I saw that on TV. There's a lot of other celebrities. I know I'm leaving some out, so I'm just going to post their little pictures. And I think the reason, again, why more of more of these celebrities or these ch children uh, are coming from Filipino moms are because, like I said, the Filipino, at least most of the people I've met, are very friendly, very uh, religious, um, devout. Uh, Catholics. Um, I remember a while back there was a priest that we used to follow. I just followed out. I'm gonna put his picture if anybody remembers. He passed away. He was a healing priest because he went to the uh, charismatic church that we would go to. And he and people, when they found out he was in town, you could not get into that church. He had a healing ministry. So the Filipino people, just friendly, warm. Uh, folks, uh, it's one of the reasons I hate to hear some of this stuff, uh, see some of this stuff as I was reading about the, the income, uh, about some of these uh, young girls, uh, about the guy talking about how he was mistreated at work at the call center, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, hey, did I leave anything out? I probably did. Yes. Uh, watch my video, watch the Rich Cooper clips, because uh, I love what he's told this guy. Get out! And that's what I'm going to say. Get out! <laughs> uh, watch Violet and Riley from 90 Day Fiance, see what's clicking with them. Uh, watch Brazilian Native, watch Mr. Sunshine Shoulders, what's going on. Tell me, wait a minute. You guys, I got to go back. I watched this video. Remember they say, he, he was in one of his videos, he said, yeah, I'd rather take noise or whatever off of a fit, feminine, friendly, Filipina than from Big Shirley. And I look and he was talking about the story time about when he cheated, allegedly. I'm just excited. I'm going to post it on his wife. And I kept looking. I, I didn't I didn't listen to the video. I'm probably going to go back and listen. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. He just said that that's why he went the Filipina because he didn't want to be with no old big, fat, big butt Bertha Shirley. So you mean 60-year-old man cheated on his little young Fit, feminine, friendly, Filipina? You guys, really? So these guys kind of like, not all, they're mad or upset with Western women. So they go overseas to wherever, even to Mexico. But you still, something is not gelling. You still not satisfied. You still messing up basically or uh the woman might not be happy herself but she's gonna 
try to hang in. I, I, I don't know. Again, I'm going to say Dr. Phil, <laughs> Dr. Joyce Brothers, get you some therapy. <laughs> and I agree with one of the other ladies. Let them go overseas. Let them go. That way the crime rate goes down here because it's too many black women in and up deleted missing same thing with the native american women same thing i'm seeing a lot of the even the younger white women let them go they dissatisfied with us because we're spending too much money we got a big mouth we got a big butt go overseas i'm gonna do like what rich cooper said get out <laughs> so hey you guys leave me your comments again say healthy happy and blessed